today I'm supposed to be today I'm supposed to be oh I get can't even walk today I'm supposed to be tidying up the backyard hmm got some helpers <laughs> look at this I spilt I was uh, taking out some of the um, hay and sawdust from the guinea pig uh, world and I spilled some at the gate. The bag, the bin bag, got caught on the gate. And that little devils love playing in it. So I ended up with a load of sawdust and stuff there. And they're there all day picking through it and kicking it about. And oh, okay. What a bunch of little monkeys. This isn't really the backyard, it's the side yard. And everything's gone to chaos out here. Before this lot turned up. But here we go. Just another morning. No wonder that wall's falling apart. Here comes daycare. Come on, Mum, get them sorted. They all know if they bash up against that gate, the gate will open. And they do it regularly. And they come in because they get fresh grass and plants. Oh, nasty reflection. Come on, focus. There we go. There go the daffodils. I'm not going to stop them though. They're having fun and it cuts down on the gardening. It makes a lot of tidying up though. They only knock everything all over the show, but look at that. That's a good view. So today is a miserable day, I won't be going for a walk, because there's lots to do. Don't think I'll get around to clearing up the yard yet though. And uh, meet Mrs Diamonds this time. She has a kind of diamond pattern of freckles on her nose. And she loves crunch. She is the daughter of a lamb that we brought up, unintentionally. She was a little orphan and she knew how to escape through the fences and she'd come to our door and knock on the door for guinea pig crunch. And then years later she would bring her lambs to this gate to get guinea pig crunch. When they get a little bit older than this one they start to enjoy guinea pig crunch too. So here we are with one of the daughters of Charlie Chutney that was the little lamb's name and uh, this is Mrs Diamonds you can nearly see a little smudge on her nose. And she's frantic for guinea pig crunch. And here's the other little sausage. Oh, shouldn't say that. Here's the other little cutie, number 33. Both of them. And there they are. Anyway, that's today. Fantastic, isn't it? What a beauty. After yesterday was so gorgeous. This is Little Chutney. She's the daughter of Charlie Chutney, who was a, an orphan lamb we brought up here. So she learned all the ropes off her mum. What she's doing now is eating the last bits of guinea pig crunch to tell us that what she wants most in the world is guinea pig crunch, which her mother taught her to do. Her mother used to knock on the door for guinea pig crunch in the mornings. It's dawn, and uh, it was just after dawn, and there's a little snail hoovering up the seed that I put out yesterday for the birds, the last bits and pieces. He's out there munching it all. Well done, mate. In no sense do I flatter myself that this is real affection. It's because I put food out. That's why I'm food man. She's following a trail of food right now. Never mind. And she'll follow me about until she gets a little bit of something or other to eat. Seed, guinea pig crunch. I'm not keen on bread. A little bit of 
Uh, those little suet strips, you like them, don't you? And now somebody's telling me that I've got to come in. Enough's enough. Come on then, Tiddles. This is Harry Hopspur. He'll follow me around for guinea pig crunch, but he likes to keep a bit of a distance. He's named after the great Northumbrian warrior, Harry Hotspur. And here we have the Queen of the Castle. Expecting more guinea pig crunch. We'll run out shortly. Oh, upset cat. Showing somebody else affection, aren't I? Somebody's grumpy.